while we still have this passage in our text, in the Bible that you have today, the King James Version, John 16, 23, 24, what you have is the condensed version. You have the edited version. The edited version looks like this. This is the edited version. Whatsoever ye ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Okay? Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Okay, this is the edited version. This is so amazing to me because they took out the two sentences that tell us how to ask. In the fourth century, when the edits happened, they took those two sentences out. Would you like to see those two original sentences? Okay, we'll go back into the original Aramaic and we'll look at a new translation. This is the original Aramaic. It begins, it looks very similar. So this is the retranslated version with the missing pieces. All things that you ask straightly, directly from inside my name, you will be given. It says, so far you've not done this because if we ask with our voice, we have not done this. Now here's the piece that was edited. Here is what was lost. Look at these two very powerful sentences. Ask without hidden motive and be surrounded by your answer. Be enveloped by what you desire that your gladness be full. Look at what it's saying. It's not saying to speak a word. It's saying to be surrounded, to feel as if. If you are surrounded, you are feeling as if your answer has already happened. Be enveloped. If you want the perfect relationship in your life, if you want the healing in the body of your loved ones, feel the feeling of what it is like as if that has already happened. Be enveloped by what you desire. Because that is when your thought and your emotion become one. You think the thought of the healing in your loved ones and you feel the love of that thought. They become one and that is the language that this field recognizes. Does that make sense? Are you okay with that? You're going to see an example of this, another example here in just a moment. Ask without hidden motive. What does that mean? Hidden motive. Ask without judgment. This is precisely what the Buddhists are telling us. Ask without the judgment of the right or the wrong or the good or the bad. Ask without the ego. Ask from the heart. Is this meaningful to you? Is this helpful at all? Let me give you an example then. Because to be, if it says be surrounded, that means to feel as if, to feel as if. Now, if that sounds too religious because it's from the Bible, we smoked, spoke this morning uh, about Neville, uh, the, the philosopher Neville early in the 20th century, his book, The Power of Awareness. Look at what he says. It's the same thing. Neville says, you must make your future dream a present fact now by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled to come from the place that it's already happened. Now, this is what those practitioners did with that cancerous tumor. I want to just elaborate on this a little bit. When those practitioners healed the woman with her tumor this morning, they did not judge the cancer as wrong or bad or right or good. There was no judgment. They accept that tumor as a possibility, one of many possibilities 
because in the quantum world, all things are possible. So they didn't say, bad cancer, you must go away. Or we're going to operate on you, or we're going to use radiation on you. They didn't do that. They accepted the cancer as it was without hidden motive, without judgment. And they said, now we're going to choose a new reality by feeling, assuming the feeling as if the woman is already healed. So what they did was they felt the feeling as if the woman was fully healed, fully enabled, fully capacitated, already happened. And the, the chant that they were using, wassa, wassa, loosely translates into the words already done, already done. And then when they got excited, they said, may, 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 means now, 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 not a year from now, not a month from now, not five minutes from now, now in the quantum world now. And her body responded, it must. Physical reality must respond to the language that it understands. So in the Buddhist traditions, they are telling us the quality of the feeling. And in the Judeo-Christian traditions, they are giving us the instructions to be surrounded, to be enveloped, how to create that feeling. And when you put those all together, it's something that happens in our hearts, not in our minds. Feeling as if the prayer is already answered with no judgment and no ego and feeling from the result feeling from the result as if it's already happened.